What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about hydro fatigue. What is hydro fatigue? I mean, by the way, by the way, by the way, before I stopped, I have noticed that you only like when I do hair tutorial or when I talk about product. That is when I see the views going up. But when I talk about those topic like taking a topic out, out of this book, actually not out of the book, but I read this and then I see a topic and I'm like, oh my god, I've been dealing with this. Let me explain this to my viewers. And you guys don't watch it. The viewers are just watching me like, girl, they don't like this. I know you still believe that products are the only thing that will fix your hair. But I'm here to tell you this, guys. Products won't fix your hair if you don't know the problem. Products are just here to maintain our hair. The way our lifestyle can change things on, like if you want to have healthy hair, eat healthy, drink enough water, have your vitamins, exercise, make sure your scalp is clean because a clean scalp means that your sebum can, can, can like, be sprayed over your hair guys please products are not here to grow your hair some ingredients in product will stimulate hair growth but it won't fix your hair don't shoot me i know some of you won't agree i know i know i know but we are all different our hair works different let me just start this video by telling you what hydro fatigue is the overuse of products like the over moisturizing our hair can tiring our hair like fatigue is a French word from that is actually mean tired I am tired je suis fatigué I am tired je suis fatigué I am tired I can understand that my hair is tired of me when I overuse product on my hair. I can understand it. Hydro fatigue is the damage to your hair follicles caused by swelling from the excessive moisture. I'm gonna read this blog where I found some of the information and I think there is one phrase, like actually it's not one phrase, it's multiple phrase, where they explain it very well. So I'm just gonna read that so you can really understand what I mean. So simply put, hydro fatigue is the damage to the hair cuticles that result from the hair shaft repeatedly expanding and contracting as it absorbs water. When hair is wet and hair cuticles takes a water, swelling to accommodate the increased volume of liquid within uh, the shaft. So while some expansion and contraction is a natural part of natural hair life cycle, excessive level of liquid can cause hydro fatigue. So there are some girls like, for example, me, myself and I, I have been moisturizing my hair in the past, like some maybe three to four times in a week. Like I have my wash day, after my shampoo, my deep conditioner and my leave-in conditioning, I applied a, a, a hair lotion, oil, and then two days later, I'm gonna spray a little bit of water and apply another lotion, like moisturizing lotion, or I'm gonna apply my leave-in conditioner again, and then three days later, I'm gonna do the same thing. It, it is too much for your head. That can cause hair draw fatigue. For some people, it it is helpful, it is better, the hair stay moisturized, but there is something called overdoing things, and that is when you overdo the moisturizing process. So see that with your hair, your hair cortex, that the cortex in your hair, the cortex in your hair, the cortex of the hair structure will expand, and that can damage the cuticles. And if your cuticle is damaged, that means the cuticles cannot be closed. If your cuticle cannot be closed, it will lose moisture, like your hair will lose moisture. You won't be able to retain moisture and then you just have to 
cut that part of the hair that is damaged and prevent the other hair that still looks good to have the same experience. So hair dwarf fatigue can be real and people with high porosity hair can suffer more from hair dwarf fatigue than people with low porosity hair because with high porosity hair your hair is like absorb moisture so quick and you can also lose it if you don't know how to close your hair cuticle so there are some girls who like who think like oh my hair lose a lot of moisture let me add the more moisture the better but the more moisture the worse so yes so this is the common mistake that we all make I already say some of them but I'm gonna uh, reweigh this it is repeatedly wetting already wet hair before it has dry completely do you recognize yourself doing that I recognize myself doing that second is using moisturizing shampoo and conditioner on half dry hair I have never did that actually I have done that conditioner yes I've, I've used conditioner on how to dry hair, like spraying my hair and put my conditioner there. Yeah, leaving conditioner. Third is overusing conditioners and other moisturizing agents. Fourth on the list is overusing hair mask and all other type of deep conditioning treatment. Yeah. I know I recognize myself doing that I always like to put way too much conditioner on my hair because I think that my hair need that I don't I don't know but our mind can be crazy sometimes and fifth on the list is uh, relying heavily on conditioning products without protein yeah if you don't know how to balance the protein and moisture in your hair yeah, I know that uh, you want to stay away from protein because also me, even me, I, I'm staying away from protein right now. I'm not using protein treatment. I still have protein in my products and I think that that is already enough to fill the cap that I have on my hair. So, but these are some, this is the common mistake that we do to like have high girl fatigue. And the damage that you can get from hard or fatigue is tangling, uh, frizziness, dullness, brittleness, um, have a, a lot of hair breakage and have like this gummy feeling on your hair, especially when you wet your hair, it, it feels so gummy. So that are the damage that you can have when you have hard or fatigue. How can you prevent it? It's very simple guys. To prevent hard hole fatigue is just to stop using too much products on your hair. A hairstylist, actually many hairstylists that I have uh, known, even online or physically, always told me like the only thing that people need for the, for the hair is the right shampoo, the right conditioner, and the white leave-in conditioner the rest you don't need it of course you need like a heat protectant if you are gonna blow dry your hair, your hair or or flat iron your hair and some oil for your ends but other than that guys i really think we don't need that much product on our hair our body is built god create us with everything we need to go out we have to eat for them to go out and that is the same everything is over is in there we just need to have this healthy um, nutrition to keep it going and have some product to maintain it and I, I really believe that we don't need that much product but I can understand that some people feel some kind of way about it that you will have an, a different opinion and you will, you will disagree. I totally understand. You will, you're going to see other YouTubers who have like a shops of products and they have beautiful long hair and healthy. I understand that. I understand that. But know that their hair is not your hair. You don't know 
You only see their hair on the screen. You are not there. You don't see how much hair they lose. There are a lot of things that you don't see behind the same behind the same things. So really don't compare your hair with other people. Don't don't try to have the same hair as other people because because that is a real challenge when you want your hair to look like somebody else and you are gonna find find yourself buying the same product and do the same things as that person did and if you're lucky you're gonna have the same result if you're unlucky you're just gonna have a bad result and you won't be happy and you would think that your hair is the problem when your hair is not the problem you just don't know how to take care of your hair what to use on your hair and listen to your hair guys i'm telling you this because i have been there already i have been there already so i'm here just to tell you like be you do what works for you you can still watch all those video i'm happy that you watch my video but I will be more happy that you find your truly, your truly self, like you do what you like, what your hair likes and not what the trends says, like TV says, social media do. Because this internet thing, social media, I always say it's the devil. But anyway guys, <laughs> this is the end of this video. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say. So there's, there's a lot of things we need to learn, but we need to stop thinking difficult just think easy just think easy yes don't overthink just do it guys thank you very much for watching this video if you also agree that we don't need that much product please comment below if you have learned if you have enjoyed watching this video please like this video subscribe on my channel and share this video if you care. Thank you very much and I'm gonna see you on the next one.